let's go to another example, which is a bit more dynamic and not in rotations. And um, we're going to count hybrids. So I want to thank the swimmers um, from austin.angelfish. And it says Coach Lauren and Coach Nevada. Okay, and Nevada says, thank you so much. And thank you also, Lauren. Thank you both of you and Austin for sharing this video with us. And um, what I want to begin with is counting the moves, okay? So here's the first. So they're doing a transition because it's arms. Then this is the how I do it for now, okay? So the first pike is counts as one move. Then second, third rotations, a descent, which is um, a, half of a rotation is a, one movement and the other one is another movement, right? Okay, so I'm just kind of uh, going over the movements first. And then from here, they hit kick and then they go to a split. So that's a kick, that's one move. The split is another move. Then they pass to the, to the night position they flow to it and then they arch and out, okay? So then that is about how many did you count it? How many, so how many moves did you count it? I counted about 10 or 11. It doesn't really matter uh, if if you're in doubt by one or two, The it has to be in between these numbers, right? If it's less than uh, six, then you can see that it's a level one. So that's not it. It was for me, it was 10 and 11. So I will say 11. So it's between seven and 90 moves. So that means that it's a level two uh, number of movement two. For the time, I will have to go back and take the time to see if it falls also in between seven to 15 seconds, but I think it does. Okay. But let's go into the families right now, right? So if you remember, they start in a layout position, but it doesn't count. It's pike position. That's when it starts. And from the pike position to a fish tail position, that is an airborne weight level one, right? Why? Because it says so here. here. Fish tail join to, uh, no, sorry. From pike to a bent knee, vertical position, or fish tail. So front pike to a fish tail. So that's an AW1. Then they do a join. So that's an fish tail join to vertical. Okay, so that's another AW1. Okay. Then they do a rotation. Okay. If you think about it, you can go back into the video and they go join and then they turn one uh, uh, 180 and another 180. So that's a 360 spin down. So then we come here, spin descending 180. No, it was a 180. It was a 360 spin descending 360. So then it will be a R level three. Okay. It will fall into this category, right? Then if you remember, they were from underwater and they went to a split and in the, the showing the split, already is a rapid split. No, they actually showed the split. It was clearly demonstrated split, held one or two seconds. Yes, I would say that they will fall into this category. And F2, right? And then they do a walk out front, okay? So now I'm in a bit of a doubt because they do a walk out front, but they also show the split. So should we call this an F2, F2, or should we do just count it as a walk out front, right? So I'm in a doubt on this one. So then how would you then write this out? Yes, so let's see. Before we go into seeing how I write it, um, there's uh, limitations in uh, for each family. Uh, 
uh, by hybrid, okay? So for example, uh, the one that concerns me is the airborne weight is two in a hybrid. So it's okay because they did only two. And then flexibility, they if I count the two, then they fall into the this both categories and they are well checked. Okay, so that's just something that we really want to pay attention to. And then what I want to share now with you is the way that I will declare it, right? Oh, sorry, I forgot. So then it will be like NM2, right? First, the, the number of movements, then the, the time underwater, let's say, I'm not sure. And then here will be the families, okay? Then for bonuses, I am not sure if I, the bonuses uh, uh, would mean that they is a duet so we can count the traveling we we don't know about placement right we didn't see angles synchronization uh they were pretty synchronized right <laughs> fully synchronizing all the moves and this so then um this can go you can consider traveling if you see that they travel more than one meter that can be something to count also to add um if they had done an angle but they didn't uh the placement i don't know where is this in the routine so i don't but if it's the last 20 seconds of the full routine then you can add it as a bonus then the synchronization um it was a fully synchronized uh, but here it says it's team only. So remind me if it's only for team or if it's also for duet. Now I'm, uh, I feel like there's a distinction there. So you can correct me, it's fine. And then pattern change, well, it's a duet. So it's not applicable. Okay, so what did you think? How did I do? I don't know. Um, I tried to do kind of an example so that we start getting into the thought process it's okay if i get uh, mistakes and i just wanted to share how uh, i am practicing right now and hopefully you can start doing on your own take some things that you see online i saw another one uh, another video that will be interesting to kind of like uh, also show because i think the hardest ones to value is the solos because of the moves in the air and if they do a rotation if they only do the leg for example um those intricate moves how do you count them you count all of them right so it's tricky so let's start practicing and we will understand everything really soon was this helpful let me know okay take care bye